Welcome guys, it's Danny, and we're back with another YouTube video, and yes, I, I remember I told you guys I'm going to show, show you guys how to stop your trope from crashing in the last episode, but I decided to do another video because that video was way too long, 7 minutes is too long, I guess, so um, yeah, let's get started, so first what you want to do is you want to alt tab out of your game, you don't, you don't really need to change it, if you watch my other video and you change all these settings to this settings accordingly, except for the detail distance and shader detail um, you should be good to go but if you're experienced with pro crashing this is the way on how to fix it on how I fixed it myself so what you need to do is alt tab out of there as you take all my videos are right there um, you want to go to your search for windows right here your search button right here you can do um I, I don't know the command of that you just go to control panel control panel once you have up control panel you want to go to system and security and you want to go to system and this is very important as you tell my computer is an i3 it's alright it works really well uh, 14 gigabytes of RAM this is important right here if you, guys have a lot of, if you have a lot of RAM like me and you want to have a lot of RAM to spare you want to do the thing I'm doing right now but if you are having trouble with crashing and you have some RAM to spare go ahead and follow um, this guide as well so what you want to do is go to advanced system settings go to advanced system settings you want to go to performance under the advanced tab you want to go to performance and you go setting this just tell you physical effect visual effects processing processor scheduling memory usage and virtual memory virtual memory virtual memory is the one we're going for so you want to click settings go to advanced and then virtual memory you want to change so what I did is this is eight gigabytes worth of memory right here so 8192 megabytes is around 8 gigabytes so um no it actually isn't 8 gigabytes actually i'm gonna have to change it out right now this is a good time to change that thing too so um you want to go to your calculator right so for every gigabyte it's 1024 gigabyte or megabytes so one gigabyte equals 1024 megabytes so um the initial size you want to do is the half of the RAM you have so half of four gigabytes is two gigabytes and that's 20 2048 megabytes so if you have four gigabytes of RAM you want to put your initial memory initial size as 2048 and then for your maximum size you want to double that up to your full usage of RAM so you want to go 124 or 1024 times 4 which is 4000 900 4096 so if you have this is for four gigabytes of RAM this is what you want to do for four gigabytes of RAM if you have eight gigabytes of RAM you want to go ahead and do 4096 and then you want to go for wait, 1024 times eight eight thousand one hundred ninety two eight thousand one hundred ninety two and then that should be for a gigabytes of RAM so the initial size is how much it would um, use in the first place and if it needs more it will go up to 8192 but it won't will not go over that so um it, it, it usually won't go over that because um, Trove is kind of like a CPU based game and GPU based game so you won't it won't even reach 8192 unless you're doing some major major stuff on trove that's causing your uh, ram to um use up to 8192 but yeah this should be it for this video guys this is how you stop it from crashing all you need to do is press set and you should be good to go so um what i'm gonna do is 8192 and i'm gonna max out my ram at there and i'm gonna set it okay and you're press okay again and then go back to trove and your game should not crash from now on and if hopefully this video helped you guys out a lot and another thing is if you're on the glyph glyph using the glyph uh launcher instead of the steam launcher go ahead and run that as administrator because that will help you um run the game a lot better because if you run as administrator you'll um allow the game to do whatever it wants instead of windows restricting it from allowing it to connect to some other servers that it wants to that therefore crashing your game but 
yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. If you guys are new to my channel and there's a giveaway going right now, make sure to hit the uh, subscribe button to be entered in the giveaway. Click the uh, video in the down in the description down below to be entered. Over 100k worth of 100k flux worth of prizes. So go enter in right now. So I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Peace out. What is up, guys? It's Danny, and we're back with another YouTube video. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to reduce FPS or how to increase your FPS on Trove.